Okay, so welcome into Visual Studio Light Switch 2011. Okay, when you get Light Switch, you can get it for free if you have Visual Studio Professional or Visual Studio Ultimate. Okay, uh, if not, it costs 299 bucks. It's well worth it. Um, you get that. You get that. You download Free SQL Server 2000. 2008 R2 and all the advanced services and you can really leverage light switch to its fullest extent okay light switch is built in uh, silverlight and as we can see here we can choose visual basic or C sharp okay I'm gonna choose C sharp in my new application this is within ultimate but I have it as a standalone as well and so can you um, so let's start up our visual C sharp application and it's hosted in ASP.NET again it's all designed in Silverlight, um, and it uses Windows Communication Foundation rich internet application services. And again, hosted in ASP.NET. Okay, and this was uh, this is the main screen. We can create new table or attach it to, to external data source. We are going to attach to SQL Server. You can also choose SharePoint or WCF RIA service. As we can see here, we have Microsoft SQL Server server name, I'm going to choose my server name here express let's take Windows Adventure Works, test our connection our connection is valid and now it's going to fully generate all of our tables okay we have we have the choice between tables and all of our views. Let's start off with just the account, the currency, and the customer. Let's take those three in. Okay, now it's created our first main screen. Where we are right now is the table view within Microsoft Visual Studio Light Switch, okay? And as we can see here, Light Switch has already taken in these tables and understood that some are defined as integers, some are defined as strings, and some are defined as other sources, okay? And if I right click on this, I can open it, obviously, I can add query. And here, I've added a small little query here, and where you can choose how you want this table's data filtered where address equals line one, where address is not equal to. You'll notice that some of, some of these are actually very similar to the SQL command, does not equal, as well as some instances in excess. Okay, you can define your sorting within here as well. And you can define parameters within here. And now to the more, more important, I feel, feature is the automated UI, automated GUI development within these screens. Now of course this is, a, this is the main add screen and you'll see here we have the details screen. Used to display a single entity and its children, if any. The editable grid screen, the list and details screen, the new, new data screen. The list goes on, there are already extensions available to individuals with not only with, with extensions for these templates but but the list you know it's only been out for a week and there there are already two to three different templates that are out that you can immediately download there are also samples of you know issue tracking uh, visual studio light switch databases that are already pre-formatted for you um, with unique and, and robust screen templates but let's just add in one of these here by right clicking down here we see our three tables okay additional data to include And I've included the links to where you can download these additional extensions and the additional pre-made Visual Studio Light Switch applications in the lower info box. Okay? Now, and this is the screen design, basically, so you can add in a lot of things. You'll notice this seems very similar to C Sharp, correct? Because it is. And you can edit the closing code here. And I just jumped into the closing code. Okay? But if I want to go back, I immediately can just go back leave outside of that okay and if I was to then let's add in another screen as well rather than getting in too deep um, that'll be another video the follow-up when we start doing some of the code editing um, here dim currency as well when you purchase this application the very first time you run it you're actually prompted 
or what type of user are you? Are you a programmer specifically? Are you a general business user that just wants an LOB application? So you're, you're given that opportunity to choose. Now you aren't given that opportunity to choose every time. But the first time you fire up LightSwitch, you will be given the opportunity. Okay, so now we've added in dim account and dim currency. Let's in let's add in one more and let's have a let's have a search data screen, okay? And let's add in on customers. Alright? Now we are ready to debug. Again, this is going to be thrown up in ASP.NET via IIS. Should be loading soon. And it will be thrown up via a local host. And while that's uh, just debugging, I actually just canceled it and I went right back in here just to, to show you some additional things before I finalize the, the debugging. Okay, now if I want to go in here, I can edit screen navigation, and this is a pretty big, a pretty big uh, portion of the application because you can really choose how the user moves about within the application. This is a this is a uh, document toolkit which I just downloaded today that I'm kind of excited about using. And here's the screen navigation. Okay, so we have this in here. This is where we were initially. You can add in users and roles, access control. I just changed this to Windows Windows authentication, okay? And you can use forms authentication or do not uh, enable it at all. And that's the way it originally was. Or you can specify the client and, and server topology for your application. So let's just change it to, to web immediately, okay? And we're going to debug this one more time. Okay, and as you can see here, this is my finalized application and I can search within all of these things. Now this is just obviously this is the baseline first table, okay? I just wanted to show you this because of the intelligent search functionality that's been built in. I can type AWOOO and I can search via that just automatically by hitting return. Uh, LightSwitch has already programmed that in, that search functionality. Or I can type in John and I can hit return and it'll immediately pull up everything named John, okay? I could then double click on that and go into this and edit this right okay let's change this to doctor it and then save okay it's been saved I can refresh I can go back and search John again and he will also have a doctorate once I break back into this so I hope you like this uh, this short tutorial on light switch uh, message me with any type of questions and I'll message you back a response thanks